All right, hello everyone. This is G Shock High Fashion Channel back at you with another G Shock unboxing video. Let me open this thing up straight away just to show you guys what's inside here because I already made an unboxing and review video for this guy before, and there it is. This is the Blackout Basic from DW 900 series model. Which, you know, let's pull this thing out of the way, put all this out of the way. One thing that I realized after, if you wear this watch for like a day or so, I have experienced feelings a little bit uh, discomfort feel from this bottom part over here because this part is very, they have this texture on top of it that gives you the grip on your wrist. But when you sweat, I mean, when I sweat, I feel a little bit of discomfort feeling around this wrist area for some reason probably just me but anyway I'm gonna put this over here so you know what's inside here is also from the Blackout Basic but which one though? well we only have four Blackout Basic model and one of this 3 to 20 modules so you know what's inside the post already I don't think I already made a video about this before although I made a video about a modern version of this piece and that is my friend wait the King G-Shock Blackout Basic. Let me put this all out of the way first and I think I should just switch perspective because man this thing is black colorway and it's very hard for me to show you guys in this angle. The King of G-Shock. Why they call it the King and one of the reasons of that is how big this thing is. This model was released last year pretty new model and still available on the market up until today and I hope Casio keep producing this because this is the best out of all best release. Let's have a look on the design features. On the side we're gonna have this Modman type of buttons and one thing that you guys should know that the Modman, the G9200 Modman was released after this model was released. So that Modman technically was based on this model. The engine or the model for this piece have 4 alpha gel being placed at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock system that's and 9 o'clock position just 4 parts and they have a lot of if I'm not mistaken polyurethane protection which is this button over here that cover the whole piece and they cover all over again with this hard casing like a lot of layering that was put into the wash and that's why the engine is still small but at the same time the whole watch looks very big it's really weird right look at that look at how small the display is it looks similar to the 1600 series look at that let me show you guys a little bit about the testing process which is of course from my old g-shock bible look at this you can get this from the description box down below by the way i added an amazon link here it is committed insulin product testing and here is covered laboratories that test this thing out in two separate version for the low atmospheric pressure, low temperature, 10 meter drop, random vibration and all that amazing stuff and they use the same uh, testing again on the making of GDX1600 series which is also have an alpha gel built in them. So, however this is the first generation of GDX by history by technology but not a lot of people know about this and accepting this because it is too big and it's square. A GDX in our series come in this profile which everybody loves and that's why GDX is famous than this. The GXW, I mean the W stand for the wave setter, the X strength. The X code over there stand for extra, same as GD extra. This is G-Shock extra, gravity extra 56 series blackout. BB, I mean blackout basic. You know what? Since we are already at the back plate, let's have a look at that. Stainless steel back made in China. Make sure the one you bought also made in China and have this beautiful engraving, very detailed and neatly done. All the sizing in there, nothing like no imperfections at all. G logo, short resist, short resume structure, and they have this code over here. This is for the top solar uh, expiration date, if I'm not mistaken. There is this top solar around there. Fake watches not gonna have a top solar in them, so it's pretty easy to tell if fake or legit. And we have high over here for full battery capacity, 
and this one I'm holding is the multiband 6 version. We have two versions as already mentioned from this magazine. One being the non-multiband 6 and one being the multiband 6 and they price totally different. Like, I mean, they are significantly different in pricing for this guy. But depending on where you live or what you need is, the basic one is good enough already. And you know what, let me show you guys the structure again. This is the alpha gel that I meant. Three, 6 9 and 12 o'clock and you can see that the engine there is built in the middle there and you can see there are a lot of gap between the module all the way to the outer case look at that huge spacing just for this protection and it, it even have two layer of glass over there mineral glass look at that two layer that is a lot of protection and this is the standard 5600 series and only like dot dot type of protection very small and this guy like overall thing is guarded so you can rest assured this thing is very tough the engines gonna stand up to any harsh conditions so rest assured okay let's have a look on the outer part like simple part which is the screws over there standard screw one two three one two three both sides go the same the buttons have this dome structure and a screw I'm not sure what the name of this, but they have this texture on top of it and shaped like a dome. The functions on this is almost similar as this. So not a big difference at all. We have day, date and time and home time. We're gonna have a world time. We have alarm, if I'm not missing a five of one, two, three, four, snooze and signal. And we're gonna have a stopwatch, simple, start. I mean where's it where's it? It's there. It's reset. We're gonna have a countdown timer up to 24 hours. And reset and we'll go go back to home time very much simple and of course one more thing if I'm not mistaken this guy have an auto light as well there is auto EL wait there it is it's not that bright it's just electrical machine similar to this guy over here look at that blue green and this one as well blue green electrical machines but this guy has an auto light and this guy didn't so yeah, if I'm not mistaken, most top solar models have auto light features in them, so better check yours. Let's have a look on the features. On top here, we have two part probably to lock the structure inside there because there are a lot of layering. This where these buttons or the guard structure will lock itself with the bezel so it won't move around. Here is what the purpose of that. And this button again, and down here to match with the bezel. It also add this circle part over here for you know just some aesthetics for toughness looking watch and going down we can see a lot more of this hold over there all this gonna make the watch looks a lot tougher than it already is actually and the, the watch band is pretty thick as well and it, even though the watch band is pretty thick you can still feel the softness of it it's not that hard not that stiff almost feel like the same part of this well this is more like a matte dial this is the fully matte look at that you can see the different in colorway of the black on this piece surprisingly this part feels soft and moving on top here we have mod resistant on top there oh by the way this have shock resist which is indeed very very shock resistance look at the shape of that look at that the button scar is big man this watch have full protection even all the way to the bottom so if you are sweating a lot you can rest assured that the sweat's not gonna get in there that quick comparing when you wearing this look at that again similar type of design and uh, texture on top of the watch band although the band keeper for this piece feels different i have a few a lot of g-shock that have this polyurethane material band keeper but the one on this king g-shock watch you just need to feel by yourself to know the difference a little bit more tougher to fit with overall design you know and we have this look at it the buckle for this piece also been screwed down like that so it's not gonna come off anytime soon very thick which makes it is easy to remove as well so good point on that we have g-shock on top there on this one it was taken brush finish or the ip process to black still with double lock buckle very thick let's show you guys the thickness comparison look at that almost similar type of thickness even though I think this one is a little bit more thicker due to this below part here they have a little bit more padded down there and for the size you need to view it from the side look at that 
the golf master is slightly bigger let me put this there the golf master is slightly bigger than the king g-shock model although it's not noticeable because the big part is only like this extended for the crown over there so comparing this from front you're gonna think this watch is bigger but the fact is this watch is bigger in width for the length almost similar the thickness this watch is thicker it looks thicker though and this is the band tag if you were wondering GX series multi band 6 top solo model world time and full auto uh, backlighting GX W5600 blackout basic minus 1JF I mean 1JF and this is the pricing 28,000 yen plus 8% tax in Japan which is very pricey just because of that multi band 6 if you got the non multi band 6 version it's gonna be like $100 cheaper I will add an Amazon link in this in the description box down below for each of this model if you are interested to grab one go ahead and you know what let's get with the wrist check and conclude this video let's see how this thing gonna look on my skinny wrist I have a 15 centimeter circumference wrist and let's see I'm wearing it at host number two from the top pretty soft watch band it's pretty comfortable and look at that from a distance does it look odd I can't tell I cannot tell totally can't tell look at it from a distance like that compare this with the golf master I'm wearing now the golf master is a little bit more glossy because of the sapphire glass this is just mineral glass when I'm mistaken so look at that up close up close it's so gonna have the gap over there of course in between these two part but Overall, still looking fine. If especially if you are wearing a long sleeve, let me show you guys how it's gonna look like over there. So it's pretty easy to cover up that extra size of this G-Shock. Look at that, and it is also matte black colorway. It's not gonna stand out much on your wrist though. So everybody definitely gonna see this at this on your wrist, but it's not that overwhelming comparing this. Look at that. Both of these are. Blackout basic series. This is this is the nylon. Pretty much simple functions are just similar. It's just based on your life routine. If you're into harsh environment all the time, this will be the watch for you. And for regular wear, of course, it will be, this will be the watch for you as well. And if for a collector, this is also definitely what you're gonna get because looking back in history, there are not a lot of King G-Shock model that is out there, and Somehow this model turns out to be very collectible and even though you already worn this beat the hell out of it Like a lot of scratches in there. You can rest assured that the after sale the resale value for this will remain the same Especially if you got this Look at this this Japan model version because the original price for this is very expensive Well, of course this point is debatable but based on my experience, a King G-Shock has a lot of fans even though it's very big. I don't know why. And of course, make sure you get all the packaging, the warranty, the manual, the box, especially this kind of box. And I guess that is all it got for this King G-Shock video. I hope you guys found this video useful, informative, and entertaining as well for your future reference or just for fun. Leave a like and also subscribe for more G-Shock related contents like all this amazing stuff in the future. Thank you very very much for watching. This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and um... Maybe I'm painting blue, but I'm on